Hello! It has literally been years since we've last done this and this being the how well do you know your partner game. Um, last time we played this uh, was our first Valentine's Day dating. Um, I climbed through the window. When you climbed through the window that one time? Yep. Yeah, so a lot of things have happened since then. Obviously back then we were boyfriend-girlfriend and now we are uh, getting married. So yeah, you don't have that yet. So last time it was um, how well do you know your boyfriend girlfriend? And now it is how well do you know your fiance? Hey Sammy. Yeah, you can definitely hear her walking around. Jingle hey, jangle. Hi. Last time we got really confused on what we were supposed to be writing on the paper. So to clarify, oh, someone bored. <laughs> Anyways, so to make sure we don't mess up this time, I am distinctly saying right now, you are supposed to write down what the answer is for yourself for the other's fiance to guess. First question, name a country that your fiance would love to visit. Why are you writing two? I uh, messed up. Oh. <laughs> I feel like this is a really easy one for you to Yeah, get it'll be a lot easier for me to get yours. Yeah. Okay. I legit had to think of a country that I actually want to visit um, for myself. So. I know I know countries you've said you want to go to, but I don't know which one is like the one you want to go to. Yeah. Should I go first? Yeah, you go first. Um, Japan. Yep. Whoa. That's Super easy. I should have written it in all caps because your idea is. Can you read that from the camera? Uh, Japan, you got it right. For you, excluding our honeymoon plans. Somewhere in Europe. That'd be cool. Yeah. Is it in Europe? It is? Okay, cool. Uh, Italy. I was gonna write that, but Were you? I, I said England. Really? Yeah. Because I thought, I mean, like, I don't know, there's a Still a lot of history to go explore. Yeah, there. that's true. Um, what is your fiance's least favorite housework task? You know mine for sure. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm gonna say yours is dishes. Yep. <laughs> uh, yeah. That's why you always do them. I don't like it. Um, yours is. Probably laundry. Nope. Really? No, nope. I don't like dusting. Oh. Yeah, I think it's really tedious. <laughs> I don't think either of us have ever seen the other dusting, so like I just, but I, I, I just didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Okay, dusting. Laundry's <laughs> pretty easy. Well, I know, but like, you always complain about doing laundry, so that's kind of why I thought you'd be like, I hate laundry. Because that's the one you complain about the most. <laughs> Dusting you don't do complain I? about because you don't do it, apparently. I don't know, I even complain about laundry. Yeah, you do. You like, have so much laundry to do. You always do this! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Outside of their career, what's something your fiance considers themselves naturally talented at? Yours would be <laughs> being the prep chef at Chipotle. Uh, you always no, don't even. You always. I, talk I about, would say I do find. I think I'm pretty talented at cooking. You could have said that, but yeah. <laughs> no, but you specific specifically. You always talk about how you were the best prep at Chipotle. Yeah, and how they you know wanted what? you to work there so bad. I was really good at dishes too. That was also part of it. Yeah. So like, yeah, the, the Chipotle prep shop. Chipotle. That's what you're talented at. Yep. But it's not your career. I put socializing. <laughs> Is that funny? I think I'm pretty talented at it. What career would that be? The outside of your career. Oh, okay, you're right. I don't I was... cook for my career. No, you're right. <laughs> you know what's funny? Did you read your question correctly? I don't think I did. Um, I'm gonna say singing for you. I put drawing. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. you. You're, you have actually a lot of talent, so that was a little hard for me. Thanks. No, um, the thing is like, uh, Drawing, I'm like, yeah, I got this. Singing, I'm more self-conscious about. So. Like, oh, you know what? I should. Yeah, you probably don't find yourself talented, but I think you're very talented. Yeah. Okay, what is your fiance's? Where am I? Favorite smell? Candles. 
You know how like candles can be scented anything? Yeah. Um, ocean breeze. Flowers. You're you're not wrong, but my favorite smell is your clone. Literally, that is my favorite smell in the entire world. No. Is the well, I, I would that would be pretty uh, weird of me to be like my cologne is your favorite smell. That's a good point, but it is that that definitely is my favorite smell because it's like you know. I should have just said me. I almost put you, but I was like, that sounds creepy. Okay, so it's like mine? your cologne. What's my favorite smell? Your favorite smell. <laughs> Why do you keep hitting me? Um. Yeah, when you walk into Chipotle. Is that it? Oh. <laughs> Cinnamon buns. Oh. Yeah. Sure it's Chipotle. No. <laughs> You're obsessed with Chipotle. Uh, yeah, it's the food. Me. Yeah. I and walk in. A, I don't. I don't think you're even allowed to heavily breathe in when you walk into a restaurant these days. <laughs> no, probably not. What is your fiance's favorite flavor of ice cream? This is not hard for you at all because I like it so recently much. needed ice cream. I did. Okay. What, what's my favorite? Cherry ice cream? Garcia. Yeah. Duh, Which is, is that just a Ben and Jerry's flavor? I think that's just Ben and Jerry's, but it's, it's good. Uh, okay, yours is also probably Ben and Jerry's. Um, I actually chose a legit flavor instead of just Ben and Jerry's. Oh, yeah. I've known you for 10 years, and I'm not sure what your favorite flavor of ice cream is. <laughs> is this going to destroy you? <laughs> I'm trying to think of what kind you always buy. I don't really eat a lot of ice cream, so I don't really pay attention when one of us has ice cream. Mm -hmm. When if one of us, like you have ice cream, because I never want it. Yeah. No, you like chocolate chunky road. Um, I'm gonna say uh, cookie dough ice cream. Oh. Close enough, I guess. Chocolate <laughs> chunky road. <laughs> I think it's a kind. That, I think. Yeah, I think that is. Yeah. Just, I don't think You I've would ever, like it. I, you I'll, always, I'll hold on, like but that. when we get the pints of ice cream, you always get like the, the Half really- Half-baked. Oh. That's the Ben and Jerry's flavor, at least. I don't know, I don't pay attention. Although they do have the uh, chocolate uh, cookie uh, mixed in there, which oh, I think is like. Oh, that's what I meant then. What does your fiance typically look forward to most about the weekend? Um, yours is probably going to the dog park. No, mine is relaxing. At the dog park. Oh, sure. Duh. <laughs> I go with mine. Um, I was gonna say day trips, like going on dates or, you know, going and uh, going on a date. You said you were going to say? Is that your final answer? Final answer? Oh, uh, well, I was about to write it down on a card. Yeah. So Wait. that's my that's my final answer. Going. Oh, you messed up. No, no, no. That's mine. That's mine. I wrote my own. Oh yeah. yeah. Wait, you're right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Um. No. Well, yes, but actually, it's sleeping in. Ooh. Because I yeah. never get to sleep in, and good point. Yeah, because I can't. I don't have time to do that normally. How did your fiance spend their summers as a child? I know yours for sure. Um, before you try to figure out- I messed <laughs> up again. Jeez, get it together, Katie. Remember the rules. Before uh, you try to guess mine, I will say mine is specifically from after I moved to Texas. So, really bored and reading manga. It's just being bored or reading. <laughs> That's funny. You're like not even, you didn't even just pick one of those. You got like both being bored or reading. Does that make up for all the cards that I just wasted? I did cry out of boredom. Okay, what's mine? Okay. Um, going to summer camp. I wrote biking. Okay, but every summer you went to summer camp until it was senior year of high school. Yep, two weeks of the summer. <laughs> what is your fiance's ideal vacation? Okay. Your ideal vacation is a cruise. Actually, a scuba trip. Really? Yeah, I love scuba diving. Well, no, I know that, but you always talk about going on a cruise. 
like always. Like, yeah, but I guess maybe just with things going on, not at the moment. <laughs> yeah, not at the moment. But this is like ideal, like ideal. Well, situation. to be honest, you could combine both. You can go scuba diving. Yeah, for as sure. an excursion. Okay. Um, I should have known. Your ideal vacation mm -hmm. is tropical um, paradise. Mm -hmm. That's true, but I actually got kind of more specific on what we would do, kind of. Having margaritas on the beach? No, but that does sound good. Um, I put cultural experiences and food. Ooh. Oh, yeah, because like, yeah, I want like tropical beaches, but I want to see culture. I want to eat a 10 pound lobster while chugging a pina colada. I want sushi on a beach. Up. And I want to see a luau, uh, which we are not able to do for our honeymoon, but that's fine. Dang. I know. I want to see ruins, which we could do for our honeymoon. I want to, I want to go shopping and no one speak English. Ooh, culture. Yeah. Okay, cool. Thanks for watching if you did. If you did, I, I it's cool. I understand. Anyways, um, <laughs> yeah, this has been the, uh, uh, what did we call it? How old? How well do you know your fiance challenge? Yeah.